What's up, guys? It's Gunnar again, coming to you again from Brazil. We're going to be talking about credit card credits. So you bought something with your credit card, bought it from Amazon, Home Depot, whatever, and then a couple of days later, say you returned it, and then it credited that amount to your credit card balance. How to record that in QuickBooks Online. There is two ways, basically, to do it. So we're going to mostly be talking about this way to where you hit new and then credit card credit. But just so you know, another option too is that once it actually hits your bank feed, so if you're doing most of your stuff through the bank feed, it'll show up whenever you're looking at your credit card banking feed. It'll show up as a received once it, you know, once it's actually returned, then hit your credit card. So maybe a few days later than when you actually return it. But most of these you'll see spent. So it's just that making uh different expenses with your credit card under here expense but when you return something it shows up here under received so a very very simple way to do it off the bank feed is you can do it here so this is where you would categorize it chooses a vendor choose the category and then add it so when you add it here it's basically doing the same thing to where it's counter um, taking away the original category expense with the associated vendor so it's basically doing the same thing but we're going to show you how to do it this way so that you can record it as, as you go and then maybe need to do a little bit more detail if you need to do that and again how to get there in the top left and new you'll see under vendors you'll see this credit card credit option so you can choose that choose the payee that's who you're returning the item from so whether it's again amazon home depot whatever it is this would that would be your payee so let's say that this one is Amazon the bank credit card account for this particular workflow it only works for credit cards so if you did buy something with a debit card in your bank and return it hitting this you can do the same thing like I said before in the bank feed but hitting this credit card credit you don't have the option here to choose your bank in this particular workflow it only be for your credit card one thing to keep in mind Payment date, that's really the return date. It's kind of confusing where they make it payment date, but that's really the, re the return date is what that is. So you can choose that here. If you have any sort of reference number, you can add that here, return number on the receipt, anything like that. The category, so it's really important for your books to be accurate the way they should be that you choose the category that it was originally used as, if that makes sense, as the original purpose. So one way you may be able to look at that, so let's say you don't really remember, you can duplicate your screen here, so you have your credit card card on one screen, and then you have an open QuickBooks Online screen here. And then what you can do is you can search your vendor if you need to, or you can use this advanced search feature, whatever you gotta do to find that original transaction to basically see what it was originally categorized as so that it's not being categorized as one thing and then being taken out of another category that kind of mess up your your books and won't be completely accurate so let's say for this case let's say that it was uh, let's say let's say it was an automotive um, purchase originally you got a description here say it's windshield wipers you bought some windshield wipers off amazon and then eventually returned them amount here pretty self-explanatory this is the amount that originally was if you're tracking by customer you can kind of take that off here uh, if it was tax or not tax you can include that here as well you can hit this this check here if they want to add any memos or attachments so if you physically have a PDF receipt on your computer you can attach it here or it's a different workflow if you add it and then attach it later on if you go to your banking and then receipts and you can do that kind of later on. You can match it once it's already created. And then we can hit save and close. And that's basically it. That's how you create the credit card credit. So that's taking away from the automotive category and uh, putting a credit on your credit card. And then whenever you go to your bank feed for your credit card, you should see it should see that credit card credit and then you can just match it right here. And then again, if you're going into your receipts, if you want to upload that receipt for the return, again, it should be able to find it here and then you can match it that way.